What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and we have some very interesting news to talk about in today's video, and that is Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies officially getting their own round-based mode. However, it's not what people were expecting. Now, to basically give you guys a backstory here of what's going on, there was a brand new survival gameplay aspect that was added to the main map in Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies called the Void Portal. And now the Void Portal was basically survival gameplay coming to a very small boxed in version of the Shinonuma map, which can be accessed by Von List Office in Stalingrad. So overall, it was basically just like a, hey, you do a few portals and then you unlock this void portal that you can always go into whenever you want. And inside of there, you're basically in that one main building in Shinonuma and it's a round based experience. Once you eliminate all the zombies on a round, the next round starts. And now something that was very interesting about this was that you have to complete three rounds in the void before you're able to return to the normal map. However, once you've completed three rounds, you can either keep going on basically indefinitely or go through the portal. And now the interesting thing is, you could go through the portal even during the middle of a round. So if you're about to get knocked out but you're near the portal, you can run over there and activate it and just be saved by a few seconds. And now unlike other portals, this one was completely permanent. So whenever you went up to it and whenever you did the objective, you could go up to it a few rounds later and do the objective again. It was just up to whenever you wanted to go in in here and it actually led to a little bit of some storyline related stuff regarding the upcoming actual like effect the upcoming god whatever that's going on in the storyline but overall it was very interesting to see them adding some sort of round based mode to the game however due to this being a boxed in area and because of how small it is and just how finicky call of duty vanguard zombies is as a whole there is a very cheesable strat which you've been seeing in the background footage of this entire time that's right if you upgrade your ring of fire to the maximum there's this area where you can just stand in there, activate it, and no matter what, you just kill every zombie. You can clear waves level thir like re around 30 plus instantly. You don't even have to lift a finger. And the highest I've ever been is around um, round 60 in this area. And that was with me just standing in this area, waiting for my ring of fire to cool off or whatever, and then popping it off right again because it was just overpowered. You just sat there for hours on end, just grinding out levels because, hey, you know, it's a weird experience that for some reason is just super cheesable. And it actually made me very intrigued to see the fact that going from round 43 to 44 in this small Shinonuma area only took around one entire minute, whereas if you were playing it normally, if you were doing a normal round based experience, it would probably take you a couple minutes, especially since it's round 43. So it's very interesting to see that yes, they did kind of bring back, you know, this survival gameplay, this round based experience. However, it's built into the normal experience we're currently seeing seeing in the game and it is super cheesable in the area so it's like if you want to take a break real quick you can just go in that area maybe set up a macro or something I don't really know what you got going on there and just go to the highest round you ever wanted and in fact there was someone on reddit who went around I think 265 before they ended up just saying nope I'm done with this because it was a 11 hour run and for 99% of that time they were in that exact spot that you guys see me in the background footage and they were just activating their ring of fire non-stop. And now, despite this being a very cheesable experience, I still find it fun. Now, keep in mind, I'm someone who has always grinded Call of Duty games in the past, and in fact, I'm someone who used to go on Buried, grab the Paralyzer, which was an infinite ammo gun, it would refill itself, go in a glitch spot where all the zombies would pile up in front of you, however they couldn't hit you, and I would leave my Xbox on overnight so I can just see how high of a round I can go to, and in fact, there was a point in time where I had school the next day, because Keep in mind, this was back in like middle school or something, and I put a piece of paper over the green light on my Xbox so that my parents didn't think, you know, I left my Xbox on and turned it off on me or something during the middle of a round. And let me tell you, that wasn't a smart idea because when I came home from school that day, uh, well, I got kicked from the match. It wasn't because of any, you know, AFK detection or anything. It was just because the servers had an update or something, and it kicked me from the match. So I've always been into these sort of boring experiences where you're just kind of sitting in a spot and just grinding out something mindlessly pretty much for multiple hours on end. However, it would be very nice to see if they could bring this round based experience, maybe this void portal to a more fleshed out area with viable doors, you know, barriers you can build on walls and a lot more stuff just so people who like that round based experience feel like they're not trapped to a small little boxed world. 
But with that said, I still am actually enjoying my time on Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. It is just boring overall, you know, the grind gets boring, and I, honestly enough, it's been passing a lot of time. Like, I'll be in the middle of the match, and once I've gotten fully set up, you know, pack a bunch of my guns and everything, I'll look over, and I've probably been playing for two to three hours, so it is a great way for me to personally waste time. However, they do have a lot of stuff they need to implement and fix with this, because as of my time when I've been grinding the game, one of my biggest issues that I've learned to just deal with is AFK kicking in a solos match. You can't pause the game in solos, you have to just sit there and just AFK, and if you AFK for too long, which is around two minutes if you don't have your menu open, but around eight minutes if you have the menu open, you get kicked from your solos match for AFKing, and the only way really around this is to use something like G-Hub if you have a Logitech mouse and set up a macro to force your character to walk forwards and backwards, and I had to do this a few times because let me tell you, when you're playing for a few hours and suddenly you have to use the bathroom, you don't want it in the run, but you also know that you're going to get kicked for AFK because of how long you're in the bathroom. But with that said, that's just been my little rant about the recent update. I'm excited to see this round based mode in the game, but I also am excited to hear that they're going to be working on an AFK system for solos where you'll actually be able to pause the game and do this other stuff. Apparently it's all related to, you know, some issues with um, dedicated servers, which personally, if you're playing a solos match, you might as well just be on peer-to-peer. -peer. I mean, there's not, there's no reason to give Solos players a dedicated server because peer-to-peer -peer is perfectly fine in my opinion. But with that said, in the comments down below, I want to know your opinions on Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. What do you think about the recent updates and all that stuff? But I'll catch you champs and champettes next time with another YouTube video. Peace out.